All right, guys, and welcome back to more Danganronpa V3. And we were presented with a motive, an interesting motive. I don't know why it's a motive in the first place, but we were intro we were introduced to the Necronomicon, which is a grimoire, I believe. It's just like a book, you know, an ancient legend. Blah 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 blah. blah, blah. Basically, we can resurrect somebody. And everybody's like, yeah, you can't resurrect the dead. You can't resurrect the dead. But they never question how ridiculous these deaths are and how they set up these death traps and how they all got kidnapped and all their memories are lost. And they can't be they, they can believe in all this shit, but can't believe in the resurrection. Come on, my dude. Come on, my boy. All these illogical deaths that were happening <laughs> in Monokuma's fucking trial. Like, come on now. This is stupid. This resurrection ritual sounds stupid. I believe it. I got dragged here for this. I should have ignored you guys after all. Now hold on. We, we we don't know if this is we don't know if this is bullshit or not. Hmm. Atua, I wonder what manner of god it is that Angie speaks of. Hmm. Does that bother you as an anthropologist? I... I have no interest in gods, but I have great interest in their creators. Humans are the ones who created gods, so, and I am very interested in humanity. I wish to know the causes and reasons why human be beings create gods. I shall observe. In that sense, this school is most interesting, because it is during times of great crisis that humans create gods. <laughs> Maybe a god shall be created here as well. I get where Angie is coming from, but Yukio? Gonta, what do you think of this? Maybe. Mm. Dead back to life? Gonta no can believe that. Forest family teach Gonta. Everything that born and everything that die is part of grand flow. And flow never rewind. Mm. Gonta would be happy if everything that died could come back. But even Gonta know there's no way to take back what already happened. Okay. Okay. Alright. Okay. Alright. Why the fuck is everyone listening to this crap? Am I the only one not falling for this? And I was so sure of myself too. Hmm. <laughs> it's kind of weird now, but at least it's not boring. I tell you what's boring: your personality. What happened? What's wrong, Kaito? You don't look well. Uh, okay. It's nothing. I'm just not, not feeling so good. All of a sudden? Damn. We'll talk to Angie last, because that's going to progress the story. What? Don't talk to me about that. I want to hear Angie talk. What? I guess. If Angie is saying it, a dead person might really hey. come back. Let's hurry up and ask her. These people got brainwashed so hard, bro. Uh. What? Do you think it's strange that I want to listen to Angie? That's right. So what? It's also important to listen to others so we can work together. I mean, you're right, but man, y'all talk about Atua now. Y'all believe in Atua after y'all said please. Atua wasn't real? Let's listen to what Angie has to say. Let's please talk to Angie. Come on. Uh, um, so you believe you can revive the dead, Angie? Uh, I don't think that resurrection ritual can really bring the dead back to life. It's probably more like returning the dead to us. What are you talking about? What the hell? Because... You know how all the bodies of all the victims have been cleaned up? So clean, it's like there was never a dead body to begin with? Yeah, so maybe the truth is, they were never dead to begin with. They weren't dead? No. That's a, that's not possible. We inspected all the bodies ourselves. But, but... but it might have been a very accurate imitation. N no. Imitation? I see. Munukuma and the exosols are evidence of ridiculous scientific advancements. So it might be possible for them to create extremely convincing imitations. Yeah. If that's what Angie says, then I starting to plainly agree. She actually made a lot of fucking sense, which is hilarious. <laughs> hmm. I've always supported Angie. Yeah. Hey, thank you, everyone. Wait! Wait, no, wait a minute. I saw them with my own two eyes. Degenerate male! Don't raise your voice to Angie, you rude degenerate. Why? You don't want them to be alive, Suichi? You don't want the dead to be alive? That's true, but... I do, I do want that. I wish they were still alive, even now I think that. But no matter how much we want that... But... Oh, wait. If everyone alive, that means there's someone in school, right? So maybe one of them write message in courtyard. The message in the courtyard... Hmm, maybe. 
Gunta. Let's talk to Gunta. Uh, um, you know about the letters written in the courtyard, right? No. But it's sort of different now. On the way here, Gunta go see writing in the courtyard. Hey! You have more writings this time. Huh? More writing. Um, Golden No could understand what writing mean, but maybe, right. maybe a message from dead. The worst. Maybe everyone leave messages for us that say, hey, we alive. <laughs> no, I don't know about that. Huh? A message from everyone who died. Because mm. no one here write it, did they? So someone else must have written it. Rest in peace. Are you saying a dead person hiding in the school wrote that message? In other words, it's a message from the dead? No. Message from the dead? What the actual fuck? How divine! Either way, there's nothing more divine than being reunited with a friend. As she spoke, Angie picked up the necro mananana kind of off Say. the floor. Angie, whatever are you planning to do with that? Are you actually planning to perform the ritual? You do know it's motive, right? It's a motive, yes? No. Perhaps it's a motive that's dangerous to ignore rather than dangerous to use. Listen closely. For example, maybe the people who've died are actually alive, and if we don't perform the ritual, maybe they will be killed for certain this time. Uh-oh. Hmm, it would be a problem if we allowed four potential survivors to die. Thank you. You're so smart for telling us, Gonta. You're a savior for, to those four people. Huh? Huh? Angie approached Gonta with her usual wide smile and... Bruh. <laughs> Bruh, what is this brainwashing ass shit? Angie, stop it. Stop it. Stop it right now. <laughs> you work so hard, Gonta. You're always trying to keep everyone safe. Even when you go berserk, you're still considerate of everyone else, aren't you? Stop it. You're weird. This is getting weird. We got problems. I know this because Atua is always watching you. Always watching, Gonta. Don't worry. You're not alone, Gonta. Atua is like a gentle grandmother, watching over you and keeping you safe. Grandmas are nice. Grandmas are nice. Huh? Gentle grandmother? I thought you said Atua was a handsome man. No. Angie's Atua changes his appearance depending on who's looking. Whoa! Well, that's not suspiciously convenient at all. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Why don't you join our student council, Gonta? You're right. It'd be really assuring if you were part of the student council, Gonta. Hmm. Mm, you will use your power for the peace of the academy. <laughs> See how much everyone needs you, Gonta? You should definitely join. Really? You need Gonta? Got it. Gonta join the student council. There's a student council? Wait. Wait, before all that, what exactly is this student council? Is that what you've been acting all weird? Yes. Last night, Angie summoned us to discuss how we can eradicate the killing game. You're right. Kibo, Tinko, and Samugi, yes. me, and we arrived to a conclusion. Bruh. This is the ultimate academy <laughs> student council, with Angie Yonaga as our president. <laughs> Bruh, what is this? What the hell, bro? Ultimate academy. Academy Student Council? We've all banded together under the leadership of President Angie. President Angie. Our platform is the wholesale eradication of the killing game. You know one of y'all gonna die, right? <laughs> yeah. Our student council promises a killing game free ultimate academy. Huh? A student council and Angie is the president? Yes. There could be no harmony between us if we keep saying different things. <laughs> oh, shut up! Why? What? He mad because he didn't get joined. Yup, yup. It's called the student council, but all the decision making is done by Atua. <laughs> and since Angie can speak with Atua, she's the only one worthy of leading the council. Oh my That's god. Right. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna follow Angie too. Yeah. Thanks everyone, Atua is happy. They've been totally brainwashed. <laughs> Angie has spread her influence before we even realized. However... But it makes sense if you think about it. This place has all the conditions for a cult to form. The fear of death that can not be avoided. Cults are born from a desire to escape that. I see. So she's using this situation to take over the school and make us dependent on the tour. Please, wait! 
using is a weird way to describe it. The president wants peace for this school, and we all agree with this. Her noble wisdom. Right. Going to not let anyone talk bad about Stonewall Council. Oh Why my you? god, you literally just fucking joined them, you brainwashed idiot. But, but I'm surprised Tinkle decided to join this student council. Huh? Why? Because you and Angie were fighting over Himiko, were you not? Who cares about that? I finally realized how great Atua is. She only joined because of uh, Himiko was in it. So? That's right. Now we were talking about again. What were we talking yeah, about? Yeah. The resurrection ritual, right? Oh my god, dude. This is dumb. They're zealots! <laughs> zealots! <laughs> no! I can't believe Robokai became a zealot. A robot zealot. Come on, bro. I can't believe it. I need to take a sip of this sobe. Ah! Sobe, so good. Wait! Less burdensome. Mm. That's a relief. If it's a Tua's decision, then it's definitely the right one. Yeah! There's no way a tool could be wrong. Yup, yup. The tool is always right. Wait a minute. Are you guys serious? The resurrection ritual is clearly a trap. Yeah. It'll be fun as long as everyone puts aside their desire to leave. <laughs> I doubt they listen to anything we have to say. It's true that they probably not <laughs> they're probably not gonna listen, but you could at least help too, Kaito. What's wrong with him? He's been quiet this whole time. Kaito is tripping. In the end, we couldn't stop the student council. <laughs> we left it at that and went our separate ways. Y'all better, like, start some kind of group to counteract the student council. I don't know how you could do that. The Neo student council. It is time. Let us go in search of a man's fantasy. Oh, it's time, baby. Get the lotion, boys. Get get your coconut oil. Get them tissues. Toilet paper, paper towels. I don't really recommend paper towels. But if you got those, and those are the only thing you got, get those. Let's go. I headed to the pool. My heart's safety was off. And I was going in guns blazing, boys. What an incredible sight to behold. Like fantasy shining like a supernova. Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> They're so big, Tsumugi. Do you mind if I touch them? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What? Honey, <laughs> it's embarrassing. Bruh. 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 Not like this. What's wrong, Himiko? N nothing. It would just be a waste of magic to grow them that big anyway. Oh, I understand now. Bruh. De de demonetized. Don't worry. <laughs> shaped. Beauty is way better than size anyway. <laughs> de de demonetized. So this is what Angie was planning a party for the student council. Anyway, I saw it, then I immediately questioned the morality of my actions. I just have to keep quiet, keep it inside, keep it together. <laughs> so we were greeted by that. That was all, that was it. That was all we got. Uh, transfer students reviving the dead, do it, student council, freaking bikini, boob touching parties. So many heavy conversations this morning. No. I shouldn't just try and sit here and complain. There has to be something I can do. I have to find something. Free time! Here comes the man in black. Alright. That was very interesting. I am definitely gonna save the game, bruh. We didn't even get to see bikinis. Oh, so I was nude! And I'm mad! Bikinis are way better than straight up nudes. Come on, don't you get that? Anyways, free time! If we cannot hang out with Maki, dude, I am going to be so livid. I am going to throw myself out of a window. I'm going to just go to a room because I know that's where she's at. I don't have any business here right now. Oh, she's out of the room then, if that's the case. That means she's somewhere. Somewhere. 
So she is in whatever room that is. She's in her freaking room. Oh yeah, the Oath of an Assassins. All right, let's see if we can finally hang out with Maki. Hey. Maki Harukawa. Harukawa. Harukawa? She has Haru and Kawakami's namesake in, in that one name. No. I don't have anything to say. I just thought we could hang out. Bruh, I'm about to roast you right now, you ultimate detective. You ultimate fraud. I guess that's a no? I guess I thought that training with me and Kaito would bring us closer. Okay. Sure. Huh? Really? What are you trying to pull? What's with your reaction? You're the one who invited me. I'm sorry. I was just surprised. I honestly thought you'd reject me. You don't know? All this time I assumed I was just going to train with two idiots, you and Kaito. And I thought it'd be faster to give in to Kaito's demands. Not sure how to feel about that. What do you mean? Even after hearing that, do you still want to hang out with me? Should I hang out with Maki? Yeah. Sure, whatever. Fine, I'll hang out with you, but I think you'll end up wasting your time on me. Alright. I spent some time with Maki talking about nothing. See, that, those are the best conversations when you can just sit in silence and just say, fuck, talk. <laughs> talking about nothing, literally. Anyway, you like them hand mirrors, don't you? You like to be a girly girl. This magazine is meant for kids. I gave her the hand mirror with uh, Kaede last time, so she might like the hand mirror. Mm. You must not worry a lot if you're giving presents in a situation like this. Well, it's not like I mine. I'll take it. Um, hey, Maki, you're an assassin, correct? What is it? I already said that several times. Detectives really are more skeptical, <laughs> skeptical than necessary. Well, well, that's part of my job. That's part of my job. <laughs> that's part of my job. Anyway, I was wondering how, how you did your work. Never heard of assassins working together, but she couldn't be working alone. <sighs> Wouldn't assassination organization disband after they become known? You're right. That is true. So what? If you want to know my job, then I don't mind talking about it. It won't be a problem. Maki's voice was confident, but she swiftly averted her gaze. Hey. Have you heard of the Holy Salvation Society? What? No. That's the first I ever heard of oh, it. Oh, yeah. Of course, a normal person would have no affiliation to any cults. Hmm. Cult, what does this have to do with your assassinations, though? I see. That's the assassination organization I belong to. Huh? You belong to a cult? You're a detective. Even though you're a detective, you're pretty slow, bro. It's a new cult from behind the scenes. It trains assassins. But... That sounds made up. Sure, whatever. It's real. The founder is the boss of the organization, and all staff are a part of it. The clients ask for a consultation, and the fee is a donation. That's how it's set up. The other believers don't matter. Okay, they're there for the founder. I'm not sure for sure of the details. I can't believe the cult like that exists in our country. Mm. Well, that's fine. They disguise it so those things aren't revealed to the public. Hey. When you hear about a cult, it makes you want to stay away, right? Well. Well, yeah, it does give off that impression. Well. Being shitty like that is just a cover-up for illegal things like assassinations. As a society, this cult is pretty normal, and it hasn't caused any trouble either. The boss and the staff actually don't believe in their god. But they... Haven't been punished for their sins. The guy really doesn't exist in this world. Damn. Her tone was neither demeaning nor cold. She sounded as if she just accepted that's the way things are. Then? You assume you're a devotee in this cult. That's wrong. Of course not. It may seem that way since I'm affiliated with the cult, but... Can't you figure that out without thinking? Are you sure you're a detective? Damn. That's true, I suppose. <laughs> she couldn't be. Well... <laughs> there are several assassins besides me. But no one is the vote. We don't really get along with each other anyway, so I wouldn't know. That's... So you don't share that kind of information with each other. That's obvious. Of course not. When the time comes, assassins will be cut and disposed of. Her tone hadn't changed. She just accepted it. What did I say to put her into that state of mind? Obtain friendship fragment! Yay! Yay. Yay! Still a bit dazed by Maki's incredible stories, I return to my room. Whoa. 
That was pretty cool. There's still time. More time to hang out with... Almost said Chiaki. Maki, that is. Ha ha. Alrighty, guys, and welcome back to more... Don Guy Rompa. We are here about to hang out with Maki Harakawa again. Harakawa. Stop it. If people see you talking to me, they'll mistake you as a friend of an assassin. Should I hang out with Maki? Yeah! <laughs> people won't fuck with me. <laughs> I have an assassin as a friend. You. And you're still fine with that? If you're putting up a front, then you'll get hurt later. Nope. Bum, 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 bum. Maki and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Maki a present? Hell yeah. I'm gonna give her a present. Some boba tea, that is. Alright, so she likes... Actually, I think she does like boba tea, doesn't she? Yeah, it's number two. Let's give her some boba tea. Boba tea. Boba. Got a minute? I didn't think I would get something like this from you. I have nothing to give in return. Is that okay with you? That is a-okay. I'm giving you a gift so you can hang out with me, tell me some stories about assassinations and assassination classrooms and all that stuff about killing people. Wait, you, you ain't gotta tell me all that. Just just hang out. Just, just hang hey. out. <laughs> I'm lonely. I just I need someone. I just need someone to talk to. Hey, Maki, I noticed all those weapons in your lab. Do you know how to use them all? Probably. She's blushing. Uh-oh, did I upset her again? Sorry. Did I act something wrong? So what? Not really. You just think it's strange that you keep asking <laughs> I just think it's strange that you keep asking me irrelevant questions. Depending on the situation, my weapons change, but I know how to use them all. Hmm. Is that right? I imagine stealthy weapons when I think of assassinations. That's true. We use those too, but I mostly have knives, also poison, sniper rifle, jiu-jitsu, bomb, what the? Huh? Bomb for assassination. Okay. What the? A warning kill has to be flashy. I've turned a five-story building into a four-story one before. <laughs> you can control an explosion to, to destroy just one floor? What the hell? How frightening. No wonder she's the ultimate assassin. So it's rare to be that flashy, though. Normally, disposing of one target is enough. Hey! So what kind of people have you assassinated? What are you talking about? What do you mean? Uh, um... Well, I only know about assassinations from movies and stuff, so... I see. This will probably disappoint you, but I don't kill only bad people. Whoa. Because... I kill anyone on my orders list. It doesn't matter who the person is. Hmm. I suppose that's just the way it is. I see. But I've also had to dispose of people who I are a new well. Damn. Huh? Like who? Okay. Friends from school. Huh? Friends? Why would you have to do that? Well... The daughter of a Yakuza leader. She was the child of a mistress with no ties to the gang. Oh man, a daughter of the Yakuza leader. She was the child of a mistress with no ties to the gang. Her father loved her very much, which was why she was seen as dangerous. The Yakuza elites decided to have her removed in case rival groups used her. Damn. Wait! What? But she didn't do anything wrong. Okay. Yeah, but I did as ordered. Just make sure you don't forget her. <laughs> dude, all these all these responses are hard, dude. How do you respond to this, bro? I guess you can say why. I don't understand. Because it's my job. But because it's my job. Eliminating the target. That's my job. <laughs> she looks like the type that would play Gamora. But you were friends, right? What is it? I said it before. It doesn't matter who they are. Well... You may think it's unreasonable to kill someone on that account of other people. But everyone does what they can to live. You, me, and everyone. I've murdered. I kill, but I can also be killed. That's all. Cold and indifferent Maki had been overwhelmed by words. I've never seen that happen before. I couldn't think of anything to say. Shit. Man. Staggering from the weight of Maki's story, I returned to my room. God damn. Huh? So here we go. We're gonna hang out with Maki once more. Yes, yes. 
spent some time with Maki talking about nothing. I love Maki. She's my favorite girl. But I also love Ryoma. But he's dead. I thought she would like that, but I guess not. 49. We don't have 49. Oh yeah, hand mirror is her, one of her good ones. 73. Let's see what 73 is. Can't give her that. 81. Oh. Jelly balls. She likes jelly balls. Line them up with four of the same color. Let's give her some jelly balls. Hmm. It's not worried a lot if you're gonna give her the presents in this situation. Hmm. I didn't know that assassins were scouted. That's right. It's better if you didn't know. Also, there's no need for you to know. But gathering children from orphanages? I couldn't believe it. Do hmm. you want me to surprise you even more then? Huh? Huh? Well... The orphanage I was raised at was run for that reason. Damn! Uh, um, what do you mean? Okay. To raise potential candidates as assassins. What? You don't know? The cult donates to the orphanage as charity. That's believable, right? The amount of work I put in is... The amount of charity given. Damn, that's how the exchange goes. Hmm. I see. How much is Maki carrying on his shoulders? So... Such small shoulders. If I remember correctly. You said you were taken in by a man. Did he raise you? What? Are you asking if he raised me as an assassin? No. No, that's not what I meant. <sighs> you don't need to be so serious. That man scouted me and put me in a training facility. That's... I remember you saying that training was quite harsh. That's true. No matter how talented you are, a child is still a child. The basic training forces your body to go beyond its human limitations. They physically beat us to help us withstand torture and taught us how to die when needed. Damn! Huh? How to die? Because... The only option left when you fail a mission is to die, right? Dying sooner is the nicer way out. It's much, die it's much better than being tortured alive. That's... So you, you were trained to withstand torture? What do you mean? Would you like to hear what kind of training we endured? No. No, thank you. I think I'll pass. I can't bear to think of what Maki had to go through. Well... After they tortured us, all I could do after was just stare at the room ceiling. They tried to break me during training, but I was still there. They tried to drag my dignity and tear it to make me feel empty, but even then I found myself. And then they would do it all over again. <sighs> it wouldn't have been strange if I broke during all this torture. Aw, oh, but even so, I tried my best. Damn! I wouldn't even... I wouldn't have accepted the job in the first place if I knew I couldn't do it. Most importantly, but most importantly, if I broke, then that girl would replace me. Huh? That girl? Huh? Sorry. Pretend you didn't hear any of that just now. But... But what? Shut up. It's fine, just pretend. Okay. I, I understand. I understand. I wonder who she's talking about. Maybe she's referencing another character within the game's universe. That would be pretty cool. Reeling from Maki's incredible story, I returned to my room. They returned back to her room later to actually hang out with her again. Alrighty guys, and we are here about to hang out with Maki for the fourth time. Not the last time, but the fourth time. Stop it. If people see you talking to me, they'll mistake you as a friend of an assassin and they'll probably kill you and that'll make me kill them because we're friends and I have a bond with you and I gotta kill people with bonds. Wait, what? Maki and I grew a little closer today. Mm -mm. mm -mm. Alright, we gave her the boba tea already. Uh, what's 30? We gotta give her something uh, over here. Aw, oh, damn it, we don't have 30. That's. Damn it, please tell me we got a 49. Yeah, we do have a 49. Do we have a 73? We don't. 95. We do have a 95. We got a 95, 95. Hey, home planet? She likes this? What was 110 again? Fully automatic shaved ice. Okay. Apparently she likes this. Is this? This is something you should give to a child. You shouldn't give this to someone my age. Satisfied? Well then, when we get out of here, I'll give it to the kids. That's why you gave it to me, right? Damn. Hey. You look like you want to ask something. Huh? I do? <sighs> well, whatever. I told you to be. T uh, I told you to pretend like you didn't hear anything. But I can't take back what I said. Hey. You're wondering who that girl is, right? She was a close friend from the orphanage. Hmm. A close friend? What is it? Why do you look so relieved? Hmm. Oh, I do. Weirdo. 
Yeah, you do. It's gross. Gross! <laughs> I'm just glad you have a friend like that in your life. Hmm. I see. So that's why you were making a gross face. Back at the orphanage, I was a normal kid. Is she angry about something? Sorry. So what? It's fine. Um. Then, what did you mean when you said she would take your place? I see. The scouts had their eyes on her first, not me. Huh? What? Because. I had enough talent, but she had even more talent. She was very kind, a crybaby who easily got lonely, but tried to be strong. If she had been taken to such a place, then she would have lived her life crying forever. That's why I volunteered to go. At the time, I had no idea what was in store for me as an assassin. But I endured the training. If she had gone through this, she would have died. Damn. That's why I was so desperate to do my best. So she wasn't just doing it for the orphanage. It was for her friend as well. Okay. Being with her was really fun. We would wear matching outfits, bake sweets, and exchange them. We would get in trouble with our teacher because we would talk late into the night. We played house often with the other kids at the orphanage. She would play as the mom and I would play as the dad. Whoa. Neither of us knew our parents, so the only thing we could do was imagine it. And so it was fun, huh? Okay. Pretty much. I think that was when I was happy. It was a dream for me. The next day would come, and then the day after that would just be as peaceful. It was such a carefree time. I wonder how many people take that for granted. Alright, one more free time, baby! And we'll be out of here. Maki shared some more stories about the orphanage with me. Deep down, Maki's just like any of us. Maki and I grew a little closer today. Let us give her the shade ice machine again. We have two of those, right? We had two of those. She's got to give it to the kids. Maki loved the kids. <laughs> Trick loved the kids. Satisfied. <laughs> I'll give it to the kids. That's why you gave it to me, right? Yep. Hmm. The close friend you mentioned before. I'm sure she's thinking about you. Uh, she's probably dead, isn't she? Hmm. Maki? Nope. She's not here anymore. She died. Huh? What? She died? Well... After I finished training, I went to see her. She died in a car accident saving a child. Damn. Uh, um... Oh no! <sighs> I was shocked. Why did I endure all that training then? But... That's right. She probably died happy saving someone. And the memories of her I keep inside me have kept me alive until now. The memories she kept inside. Even the whole orphanage. That's why I'll do everything I can to protect that place. I mean, this, the plot to this Final Fantasy VIII sequel is crazy. Hmm. I see. What is it? You look like you want to say something. Your face is gross, so spit it out already. Hey! I was thinking about what I can do. What I can do for you, Maki. What? For me? You're a normal girl at heart. I want you to live a normal life. I'm... I was thinking that you could leave being an assassin behind. Um... Perhaps I could use my detective skills to investigate the assassin cult. This is stupid. That's impossible. Uh, um... You sound awfully sure. I'm the ultimate detective. Girl, what you mean? Because... The world isn't as, isn't as simple as you think. It needs assassins to do the dirty work. Who the hell do you think you are? Don't you think you're being presumptuous? Maybe, but... But... What is it? What? You think so too? But you're gonna push the responsibility on someone else? That's just like Kaito. Is that guy rubbing off on you? <laughs> you're right. I suppose that could be. Jeez. One Kaito is difficult, but two is too much. You say that, but I can see your smile. Well... Suichi, just do your best as a detective. Why don't you try to find solutions to problems where it won't have to lead to murder? Huh? What? Because... The people I assassinate aren't killed for simple reasons. It happens because certain complications occur and can only be settled with murder. You can try to reduce the complications. Monkey pouted stubbornly and turned her head. And if that happens, I guess I'll have to quit being an assassin. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Ooh, chugga chugga chugga. Woo woo! Smile. Blushing. No one else can do this. You're the only one who can do it, okay? Even with her head turned, I could see a smile on her lips. 
So this is how Maki shows her thanks. Of course, I realize the situation isn't that simple. What's the point? Well, you are Kaito's sidekick, so I shouldn't expect that much from you. But... That goes for you too, right? Aren't you kind of his sidekick as well? <laughs> oh, you just had to say that. <laughs> a regular face from Maki. Maki's face weaving with a sly grin. I grinned back. I didn't think it was possible, the two of us smiling together. But I know it's because Maki and I share a special bond. And I swear on that bond, we will escape together. Your friendship has deepened! Maki's report card has been updated based on your experience. Financing, Hey, Now give me them draws! Give me them panties, girl! Maki and I parted ways and I returned to my room. Maki's undergarments. Mm, I still smell her. <laughs> Bruh. Why would they give me underwear? Well, why would you think I would want your underwear? What you think I'm gonna do with these now? What you think I gotta do with these? You don't give me underwear. For no reason. <laughs> so we got the financing ability. You know what that means. Broking. Time to farm on Akuma coins for casino coins. <laughs> Financing. Digital love, huh? 32. Damn, that's a lot. That's a big ass cost. Increase the amount of Monokuma coins obtained after class trials. Oh. Why would I wear a girl's underwear though? Like, come on now, let's be real. Let's be real. All right, time to go hang out with Himiko. Um, this is still creepy AF. Himiko. Um. If the writing in the courtyard is a message from the people who died, then why didn't they write a more obvious message like help or something? No, we're not hanging out with her. Fuck out the way. All right, we're here to hang out with Maki. Second to the last time, hopefully she'll advance for it since we know she's a part of the stupid, you know, adventure club. Whatever you call it. <laughs> Did I say Maki? Himiko. Himiko, we're here to hang out with Himiko for the second to last time. Stuff out of here. What you doing in here, Himiko? What's the matter? What is it? Do you want to join the student council too? That's a good idea. It'll make Atua happy too. What's wrong with y'all Atua? No. Well, if you think about it, your talent is useless outside of the killing game. Wow. So the student council is making you useless. <laughs> you must be filled with regret. What? Himiko wavered between sharing me up and putting me down. Wow. Himiko, you son of a... Himiko and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Himiko a present? Definitely. Alright. Uh, Himiko, please tell me I have... Yeah, okay. Dreams come true. Please, just hang out with me. You. You must have a use... You must have used a find Himiko a good gift spell. Well done. I don't mind you giving me more stuff from now on. Himiko! What the frack? I cannot max out Himiko, bro. What is this? I cannot max her out. Okay, here we go, guys. With more Diangi and Ropa. Actually. Mono Tower is out cold from being punched by Monodon as punishment. Damn. So we'll be taking a break from making announcements. While Monodom and I are on break, we'll leave the rest to Daddy. Oh my god, Monokuma. You look like a freak. <laughs> Why am I getting bitey, bro? That announcement didn't mention it, but I suppose it's nighttime. Time to train, but is Kaito okay? Yeah, that's him, right on point. I suppose he's doing just fine. Maki? Huh? Maki, what the hell? 
Kaito's resting. He says he's not feeling well and that we should train without him. Huh? Just the two of us? Jeez. It's pretty thoughtless of him to bug me to train with you guys, then flake out. But... Well, he did say he wasn't feeling well. Weirdo. Why are you making excuses for him? You're right. Uh, I guess you're right. Hey. Let's just get this over with. I didn't come here to make small talk with you. So we're really gonna do this? Training just the two of us? Alrighty. Just the two of us. And that's how Maki and I ended up training together. Training to kill everybody. Ah! Ah! I'm sweating. She ain't sweating at all, dude. Hey. Hey. What is it? Why are you training? I don't think a detective needs to do this. Probably not, but overthinking things and worrying about what I need to do. When I'm with Kaito, I feel like all of that stuff just fades away. Do you look up to that idiot? <laughs> uh, I don't know if I'd call it looking up to him. It's just that I've never been around someone so relaxed and impulsive. I think that's exactly what I've been missing all this time. I never realized until now how gross it is to hear men talk about being manly. Bruh. Maki sprang up and said, I ain't done. Hey. <laughs> yep, 100, I'm done. Maki seemed nonchalant as she brushed off her hands. <laughs> You're really fast, as usual. So what? I used to be forced to do push-ups until I passed out. 100 push-ups is nothing. Huh? What? <sighs> About Kaito, I sort of understand what you mean. That's true. But I'm a bit jealous of how carefree he is, even if he is useless. I was taught to only value the essentials. I was forced to abandon anything non-essential so they could mold me as they saw fit. Well... After everything they did to me, I sometimes wonder what I am anymore. I didn't actually become this way, it just happened. After what I've been through, am I still even human? Even Q acts more human than me. Damn. Because... But I had no choice but to... This is stupid. Why am I talking to you about this? You can't help me. But... But I'm kind of the same way. Well... I never once wanted to be a detective. I actually thought it wasn't too great of a job. Uncovering people's secrets for money? It's the worst. Okay. But now I feel completely different. If it's going to help my friends, I'll do it. If it's Kaede and Kaito that have helped me see things that way. And it's Kaede and Kaito that helped me see things that way. So what? I didn't ask to hear your story. Maki's face remained totally unfazed as she turned and walked away. Maki! Maki! All right! All right then. I'm still a little worried about Kaito. He seemed off since this morning. Hope that it's nothing serious. All right. All right. All right. Yaha! Welcome back, Maki. You finally came. What? Whoa! Jeez. It's not okay to walk around at nighttime. Why? I'm not violating any school regulations. Why are they about to jump her or something? <laughs> Monokuma's regulations don't matter. Uh, but Kurumi's crime happened during nighttime, right? What? If no one was allowed to walk around at nighttime, that case wouldn't have happened. Indeed. That's why the student council is trying to limit all nighttime activity. Fuck y'all! Well. Limit. So basically, you want to take our freedom away. Is that it? My, my. You're so odd, Maki. What's more important, freedom or a person's life? Wow. This bitch just say that. Did she just really say that? Uh. We need to remove all worry and doubt so everyone can lead, have a peaceful life here. Atua! Because that's what Atua says. How divine! That's what Atua says. <laughs> Atua says, yes. people are afraid of you, Maki, so we prefer if it, if you were more careful. Mm. Damn, it's for the peace of the academy. Fucking thugs, bro. <laughs> These are some fucking thugs. <laughs> It'd be a shame if something happened to you, Maki. What the fuck, bro? This student council ain't nothing but thugs. <laughs> what is the point of human life? Bruh, is this another reference to the Matrix? I can't tell. He has guns. Maybe it's a John Wick film. I don't know. The born is useless babies who can't do anything. 
And 70 years later, they're useless, old people who can't do anything. Hairless, toothless, wearing diapers, unable to take care of themselves. In the end, it's all so meaningless. Terminator! Ah, I haven't really seen Terminator. I know references, but I, I, I didn't put two and two together. Man, put your fur together, dude! When I look at this Monokuma, it makes me scratch. I'm suing Spike Chunsoft for this. <laughs> mm. So that's the morning announcement, huh? It was a little creepy, but I don't like this at well, all. I suppose I'll go to the dining hall. All right, so I think what we're gonna do here is save the game, take a break, and once we come back, we'll be back with more. <clears throat> Danganronpa. So I'll see you guys soon.